Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the construction of the synchronous machines. So generally, any machine, we have a number of machines, DC, induction, or any rotating machine, we have two parts. One is the state R, it is a stationary part, and the other one is the rotor. Okay. Here in synchronous machines case, the state R is used as the armature. So every machine consisting of the armature and rotor is used as the field. Used as the field. So to work to work as a generator or motor, we require two things. One is armature, and other one is the field. Both the things. So by using that, we can construct a we can construct a synchronous machine or any machine, right? Here, rotor is two types. One is the salient pole rotor. Another one is the non-salient pole rotor. Or the another name is cylindrical rotor or the round rotor. This saliency means uh, the diagram itself look like a saliency. That means that maybe the poles are projected like this. The poles are projected like this. This is the availability. This is called the saliency generally. Here, the second case is non-salient pole. That means the rotor is looking like this. The rotor is looking like this. So depends on this construction, their poles, the rotor will be divided. So in this, first we will discuss about the stator. Here, stator code is made with the cold rolled non-oriented steel. So it is cold rolled non-oriented steel. So, so by this, it will be very useful to reduce the hysteresis losses as well as the eddy current losses. And with this, 3% 3 per, 3 silica will be added. That's why it is called the silica steel. So it is laminated to reduce the eddy current losses. So silica is for the to remove the hysteresis losses. Hysteresis losses. Here the lamination is required for the reduce the eddy current losses. Okay, right. Here, so the stator is generally stator is used for simply I told you that stator is the armature. Armature is nothing but collection of conductors. It consisting of the number of conductors. That is called the collection of conductors. Yes, yeah. That's why to, to maintain these conductors, we require the slots. So here we have so many number of slots are available. Here the slots are open type slots. Open type slots. Generally we have three types of slots. The open type, semi closed type and closed type. Here especially the stator of the synchronous motor is used as open type slots. But the reason is it is access of winding is easy. Here why this we are using is access of winding is easy. Second, firmly wound coils can be accommodated. So here wound coils will be accommodated. Third, less leakage flux. So leakage flux also less. This is the reason. The reason is open type slots, it ac access of winding is easy, formally wound coils accommodate and less leakage flux. These are the three parameters. Next, just look at the construction. Here, the look at the stator. Here, this is the stator construction. This is the stator construction. Just look at here, diagram. So, the stator is look like this. So, this is the outer outer part of the stator. And outer part of the stator. And remaining is the inner part of the stator. So, this is the inner part of the stator. So, these are called open type slots. These are called the open type of the slots. So, these slots, in these slots, we are using the winding. We are using the winding. Two types of windings are available. 
so windings generally windings are pick up like this for example the conductor is goes downwards from here and the next point it will come upward like this next the conductor is again going downward and again, again upward so by using the slots the winding construction is constructed like this right so this is about the uh, these are the open type slots and these are the windings here here we have we have to understand two things one is leakage flux is very important factor leakage flux is very important factor here so better to avoid this leakage flux if the leakage flux is more and more the power factor of the machine will be less and it will take the more reactive powers okay next generally here the leakage flux is proportional to the depth depth of the machine and width of the machine so here we can call it as depth depth means so it's starting point to downwards this is called the depth of the machine and the width of the machine is so this is we can call it as the width of the machine so here the leakage flux depends on proportional to the depth and inversely proportional to the width here depth is proportional to the number of conductors z is number of conductors it is more depth is there so it consisting of the more number of conductors okay right here we can give some statement for the leakage flux also here the leakage flux is leakage flux is generally we can define the flux is mmf average by reluctance it is same as the current in the electrical system current is voltage per resistance here also leakage flux is mmf average by reluctance here mmf average is depends on the number of conductors and e is proportional to the diameters e is proportional to the diameter right here in this leakage flux inductance l equal n into phi l by i n into phi l by i okay here n is the number of conductors phi l is the leakage flux i is the current xl is the leakage reactance so we can write the xl is leakage reactance leakage reactance we can give the formula for the xl xl is 2 phi fl 2 phi fl okay right whenever the in this leakage flux is more then the stability is also the more so here the synchronous machines stability is the most important factor that will be more okay next we can give some comparison between the open type closed loop type semi closed loop type slots here the leakage flux in closed start closed slot is more compared with the semi closed start and compared with the open slot so generally closed start has the more leakage flux so that's why leakage for the closed start sorry leakage not it is a inductance here the inductance for the semi closed start and the inductance for the semi closed start so where here the regulation also same position and the leakage reactance wherever the inductance is high then automatically leakage reactance also the same condition so here the leakage reactance also like this leakage reactance also like this okay so this is about the state or construction of the synchronous machine okay here in the state or construction 
we can recollect some points those are it is a manufacture with the cold rolled non oriented steel and it had a 3% silica silica to reduce the hysteresis loss and lamination is done for the eddy current loss and this is the construction and we can give some flux regarding this and these are the things about the state or construction of the synchronous machine okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you